My thanks to blind, the blind. I don't know what to call it still. Today's the blind leading the blind quick shot taste test. So I picked out what I thought would be a nice scotch that Brandon would enjoy. Okay. All right. Now, I've never tasted this before. It'll be my first taste as well. We already have the drams poured. So, Brandon, take your first nose of the secret blind taste. Well, it looks very young because it's very pale in color. Okay. There's sherry in it, wine. No, it's not wine. Well, I don't think it'll be sherry because it's not reddish. It has like a wine smell to it. Does it? It's Shackleton. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is Shackleton. Maybe it's not. I kind of want to say grapes. Need a little bit of an Definitely apple. Sherry, oaky. I don't know if it's sherry. Well, if you know what it is, it might be sherry. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't get the oak. You don't get the oak? Mm -hmm. Now I picked there's, this out because I love I actually loved the container. It was a, I thought the container had a cool <laughs> Roxy Grease. Had a cool container, the color, the design. I'm gonna say. And I also love where it was made. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna take a guess here. It's a blend, in its compass box. It's a blend. Because it's the only ones that have good looking boxes. Oh. I think he's gonna be he's gonna be shocked because <laughs> we were out looking in stores and he actually held this in his hand. I did. <laughs> yes, you did. He's like, why don't we get this one? We didn't buy it, of course, because I already have it. Oh, it's the Campbelltown one. Which one? <laughs> the one with not the dog. That's right. <laughs> it is the Galdrons. I wonder wouldn't get it. Which is a Campbelltown blended malt scotch whiskey. Non-chill no. filtered. No color. I was going to say it kind of smelled like, uh, kind of reminded me of, uh, I want to say Hazelburn, but. Specialist small batch bottle. Thought so? I'll read the can for you. Occupying a remote location, even by Campbelltown standards, on the extreme west coast of Scotland, the Galdrons literally means Bay of Storms. We have a name like Bay of Storms. It's got to be good. Do you taste it yet? I haven't tasted it yet. Have you? No. I just opened it. But it's not just the dark storm clouds gathering out in the Atlantic that set the pulse racing here and make the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. Well, it's only 46.2% alcohol, so how much my hair is going to stand on end? I really that don't. doesn't really like you. Huh? Not bad. What is your taste? Of, what's your flavor profile? There's a little bit of saltiness to it. Definitely salt. That's the first thing that hits you, really, is the salt. Mm. Mm. It kind of reminds me of a, like a hazel burn. No, nothing like hazel burn. No. Nothing, nothing like hazel burn. Springbank, it's got, you gotta remember. Distillery these whiskeys are... have a similar thread that makes them common, but then there's differentiations that separate them. This tastes nothing. And I'm like not saying it, it has notes from them. And mind you, these are from Campbelltown. And how many Campbelltown distilleries are there? Not many. 
The complex nose reveals honeycomb with brown sugar, sea salt, and a late hint of subtle spices. The palate is mouth-coating and sweet with a peppery warmth, developing to a beachy and maritime kind. I'm telling you, man. The finish brings vanilla and oak with puffs of smoke and a biscuity sweetness. You're telling me. I really think this smells like Hazelburn. I recently smelled it. Maybe you should bring it over. Now I got some spring bake. One. That's Peaty though, isn't it? Isn't spring bake Peaty? No. Let me have a touch. Well, the hazel burn. Long row is the peated version. I know, but. Did it change the profile at all with the water? Is it non chill filtered? It's non chill filtered. Natural color. I think it does. It's got that little bit of a funk. Funk? What kind of funk? Funk it town, let me take you to. Funk it town. Hazel burn funk. Hazel burn doesn't have funk. Yes, it does. Hazel burn has just... got a funk. I almost want to say raisins. You want your raisins. I never. Go smell a box of raisins and it'll open this up. I don't have. I don't, I don't eat raisins. I go quite regular. How much was this again? I think it was like sixty bucks. For a bland? Is there an age statement on it? How much you read it? Find out. Smallest. Oh, specialist. Specialist batch, not All smallest. Right. I read that already. There is no color in. Campbelltown. Campbelltown distillery scene is stay true. To no chill filtering. People seem no to think color. that this has, because remember we looked it up in the store. They think it has spring bank in it or some type of. It have may. something from there or maybe it may. Glen Scotia. Is Glen Scotia? Yeah, I think Glen Scotia is a Campbelltown. I think that smells like Hazelburn, dude. That's the closest thing we're going to get to a Campbelltown whiskey in our neighborhood. What are you doing? Glen Scotia. The other Campbelltown whiskey. Tell me if you... Right in here. Glen Scotia Victoriana, right? Dried fruits, pralines, rich oak. Find perfect counterweights in citrus, spice, and saline. Tied together with a thick, buttery mouthfeel. You get that from that? Crispy, buttery, flaky crust. Poor Campbelltown, once the capital of Scotch whiskey, home to 29 distilleries in 1835. Now it's just three. I don't get the buttery bits. Spring, Springbank, Glen Guile, and Glen Scotia. Those are the three <laughs> Campbelltown. They must have taken three blends from each one of them. You think so? <laughs> There's not many you can blend, unless they're blending just for one of the distilleries. But it says dried fruit and nuts. When there's sherry influence, whatever Glen Scotia you drink, look for citrus and cigar wrapper throughout. Well, I don't know. I don't really taste any spring bank in here. You know, I may, you're right. I may smell some, but maybe it's because he's making that suggestion. I'm, I'm telling you. I'll say this, blends kind of have, like last night, I'll tell you what I did. I went out to dinner last night and I bought a blend. It was a cheap blend. It was one that I saw as a kid and advertised at Shea Stadium. Yeah. Cutty Sark, which is cheap. I mean, you can buy a bottle of that for like 25 bucks. It's a blended scotch. And although it was very thin. It's pretty good. This is really good. But the Cuddy Sark last night, that blend was very thin. It had a funky taste to it, but the overall aftertaste was very good. I liked mm. it. I did like it. But this is a blend. This is, I think, a higher quality blend. Although, do you find this to be thin? Like you find many other blends? Like Shackleton's rather thin. Mm. No, no. Like compared to the last two blends we had? Well, no. I think the first blend we had was. Uh... Honestly, it's definitely <clears throat> Springbank. The Isla Mist. 
This is probably the best blend I've had besides the two compass boxes that we tried. You might be right. Samples. How do you think the Scatterwag is? Which is the other blend well, from Campbelltown from the same distillery. No, it's not a Kylie Hamilton one. The Scally, the, the one with the oh, dog. Oh, Scalawag Speyside, but it's out of Campbelltown, isn't it? Isn't this distillery? Hold on. No, the other one is the Speyside blend. Yeah, this is from Campbelltown. So this is made by one of these three distilleries. Does it say Campbelltown? Yeah. No, no, no. That, that, no, no. Yeah, right here. It says Campbelltown blended malt doesn't, scotch whiskey. Well, that's where it's being distilled. Yes, it doesn't mean that's where it's made. There's going to be another name on it. Douglas Lang. Wherever Douglas Lang is. Ooh, look at that. It even has like that same... You're right. I think it's very spring banky. I think you're exactly right. But it's not a lot of spring bank. I mean, it's very little. It's imported by St. Killian Importing Company in, in Massachusetts. Doesn't say. To douglaslang.com. Yeah, I just gotta smell that. It smells like glue. I put a little bit more water in it. I think there's hazel burn in here. You think so? I think there's hazel burn. I like hazel burn. It's even got the similar color. Once they blend all three of them. Yeah, because once, they're once they're blending. Yeah, Springbank never has much color. What happens if they're blending, let's say, some Glen Scotia, some Springbank, some Hazelburn. And maybe, actually no, I don't think they're putting in, putting in Springbank. Maybe Hazelburn, maybe what about Kill, Kill, what's it called? Long Row? Not long row. Kill Killerian or something like that. What's it called? You know what I'm talking about, right? No. It's the other distillery. That There's three of them. That That's Springbank it. owns. Yeah, Long Row, Hazelburn, Springbank. It's like Kill Karen or something like that. Oh, Kill Coven? Kill. It's on a know. white bottle, white tin. It comes in an eight and a twelve. Eight cast strength and a twelve normal. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is good. It's very good, right? This might be the best thing I've ever had. Blend. Best blend? I would agree. I would say this is one of the best blends I've ever had. Definitely. It has a little character, saltiness, no. maritime brine, which I like. I give it a nine. Hmm. Like a 90 for a blend. I'm going to say, out of a my mark, my mark, one through ten. I'm going to give this an 8. I think it's slightly better than an 8. I'm going to say it's an 8. 7.5 to an 8. I would say a high, maybe, how about this? High 8, low 9. No. It's a blend. I don't think you can go that high. Unless you want yes, to have your own blend mark. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. 1 through 10, blend mark. What's the blend mark? Blend mark, I'm going to, because I've never really had a blend that I liked, I'm going to go low on this one as. I'm going to say... You like some of the compass box things eight and a half. I gave you. Yeah, but I've never really truly experienced them. I'll, I'll say an eight. I could measure it back up if I try another blend. Like, like Shackleton would be like a five. You think it's that bad? No, I think that's like a middle-of-the-road blend. Five is like mediocre. Yeah, I think Shackleton's mediocre. It's not like that, that, knock that, that's, down the house that's and terrible. just drink a bottle. That's terrible, though. I'd rather be bad than mediocre. Would you? Yeah. Why? Because mediocre is eh. I'm trying to find as a baseline for measuring like for instance, tasting of blends. The Star Wars, new Star Wars trilogy is mediocre. Especially Last Jedi. It's mediocre. Last Jedi sucked. Some of the last movie. It was slightly better. Zero. <laughs> so... High eight, low nine. I'll I'll, I'll go I'll go an eight. I'll go an eight. Okay. Seven and a half to an eight for a blend, on the regular my mark. Well, it was supposed to be a quick shot. It's a quick shot. It went a little bit long, but that's okay. So with that being said, hasta la vista, baby.